Hey, bro. Hey, Jamal. Go! That's cool. Can we talk to you for a second? Yeah! You guys step aside. Can we talk to you for a second? Yeah, what's up? Can I chat with you right over there? I'm off to you with the Seattle Police Department for audio and video recording. Okay. About what? I'll tell you right over there. Do you want me to broadcast your business? So, I know uh -huh. I told you that you're being audio and video recorded. Yeah, and you guys are as well. The reason that you are is because we're investigating a court order violation between you and Mr. Mrs. Uh, Marshall, Jessica Marshall. Is that her Jessica name? Jessica Marshall? Is that not her? Yes, correct. I don't even know about any court order. What are you guys talking yeah, about? court order, uh, in a harassment order out of Pierce County. Um, out of Pierce system. County. Yeah, it's in our system as being served on you, so you should have been aware of it at that time. I'm not aware of it at all. And, and what is this person alleging? That I conducted surveillance on her? Essentially taking photographs. In um, Pierce County? No, here today. Yes, today. On that corner. You're um, saying that's illegal for me to take photographs? I'm saying it's illegal to violate the anti-harassment order. Um, and so we're trying to determine whether or not you did. So um, we're talking to you about it. I'd like to get your side of the story. <laughs> if you had any contact uh, with her. I don't know who this person is, but I'll tell you something. I have been repeatedly threatened by some of these people. Okay, all of them know who I am. It wouldn't surprise me if any way, if they were BSing you guys about me, okay? okay. So I want to see some evidence that there was, in fact, any surveillance. I don't know what she's talking about, okay. but it wouldn't surprise me at all if they were just lying to you. Let me tell you something else. Last time I was here, um, there was a woman named Marilyn Perry who came into this area over here. Okay. She pepper sprayed a bunch of us, okay? A couple of us, and I, I video recorded it, and I actually sent you guys all of my footage. So in that situation, I know that you arrested some people from the right wing, but you didn't arrest the person who shot the, the, the spray at us. My concern is, is that these people report stuff and you guys seem to just sort of give that, those reports a lot of weight. I haven't done anything to anybody. I don't even know who this woman is. So this is all news to me. Well, so I, I understand there's some history here, but we're uh. talking about sort of what happened today. So okay. I'm, I'm being frank with you. I'm telling you exactly what the allegation is um, and asking if you want to talk to me about that. Um, I'm, I'm really not um, trying to figure out the history um, with other individuals. It's very narrowly tailored. To whether How is it that she has a court order against me and I, I'm not even aware of it? Well, sir, uh, there's a record of it being served. So, um, Where's the record? Can I see that? Or can I have an incident number of some sort? Obviously, yeah, I want to see the record. So I have not seen that at all, period. And that's the truth. So, um, you know, the other thing is, is that some of these guys tried to dox me and there were people from the East Coast that tried to dox me. They wanted people to come to my home and harass me or worse, okay? I don't want my address getting out to any of these people. Do you understand? Sure. For my own personal safety, sure. all right? So, um, again, I want to narrow what we're talking about. We're just talking about whether or not there was a violation of the anti-harassment or we want that specific individual that we previously mentioned, not sort of the larger... That person's name is Jessica what again? Marshall. Jessica Marshall. Okay, is that Matt Marshall's wife? Correct. Okay. So that kind of makes sense that she would make an allegation like that, okay? So Matt Marshall tried to put... I, because it's important to have some context, okay? Now that we know who she is. So you Matt, do... You do uh, I've never met Jessica Marshall, to my knowledge, in my life. But you do okay. have an anti-harassment order with Matt Marshall? No, I did not get an anti-harassment order with Matt Marshall. Okay. Matt Marshall has repeatedly challenged me to a cage fight online. I have a number of screenshots where he's done that. Okay. And he's said a variety of things that were threatening. Okay. okay. So what's happening is he's going to you guys and he's giving you information that's not accurate. Well, it's not Matt Marshall today. I understand. So he's telling his wife, okay, okay, to file this type of claim, which is BS. Okay. So uh, one of the things that might help clear this up, uh, because the allegation was you were taking photographs. Uh, I take her, a lot of photographs. Is, if you would um, voluntarily allow me to look at the photographs you've taken with your camera, and that way I could document in my report, no, in fact, you did not take any photographs of her. I took a bunch of photographs of people over there. Is this Would, would this be a crime if I photographed her? What I'm okay, then I'm not going to let you look at any of my pictures. I don't know who this woman is, okay? 
and this whole thing seems very fabricated to me. Okay. So I want to see some more documentation. I understand you guys are making what it sounds like to be a pretty serious allegation. Would this be a misdemeanor if I took her picture? So if you violated the anti-harassment <clears throat> Okay. I don't know what's going on, so I want to see the order. I want to see the reasoning for the order. Okay. I take photographs out here all the time. It's my understanding that it's okay to take photographs out here. It's a newsworthy event. There's lots of people out here taking photographs. So let me repeat this just in case you're unclear. Sure. I don't have the order to show you right now. Okay. But the record in our system is that it's a served order. With that, Mm -hmm. What that means to me is that you have been given a copy of it already. So the fact that you tell me you don't know anything about it is fine. I can note that in my report, but our records indicate that you have already been given a copy and you've been served with it already. It's absolutely not true. It's just not. We can move okay. beyond that at this point. Right okay. Now. And what I'm saying is if you would like to voluntarily show me your camera, hold on. Think, think okay. about this for a second. Mm -hmm. I can look through your camera that there are no photographs that would violate that order and document and exonerate you. That's okay. what I'm giving you a chance. Now I understand from your perspective, you're, you um, think that it might be a mistake to talk to me, it might be a mistake to let me look at your camera, but I am saying that I am willing to document your side of the story. You are telling me that you have been persecuted. I am saying I can look at your camera and I can determine whether or not you right now have not violated that order. I've taken a number of pictures of groups of people. So if this woman is in some group of people, I don't even know what she looks like. Okay? So you're saying that I, I take a picture of somebody that I don't even know what she looks like and you see it in my camera, you're going to write me up for a misdemeanor. So no, I'm not going to allow you to look at my camera. Okay? I don't know all the people whose photograph I've taken today. I do, I do want more, uh, an incident number, please, because obviously I want to see the court order. There's absolutely, I have never been served with an order. So I want to know who, I understand there's something in your system. Did, did an officer, a specific officer say that they had served me? Yes. Okay. I need that officer in Pierce County. Yeah. So I don't even go to Pierce County, dude. This is that didn't happen. So I need to know who that officer's name is. Okay. And I want to see some documentation of that for sure. Cause that did not happen. Period. That's something to That's take it. up uh, the judge in Pierce County. Um, it's been served in our record, so we're not going to address that today. I will give you a business card with our record, with our information, and the case number for the Seattle incident today. Okay. okay. So stand by on that. Okay. Can you do that, please? Yep. You have, um, what's your date of birth, by the way? 11968. Five one zero four six three seven two five eight. Okay. And it's uh, S A V A G E. That's correct. Can I spell that right? Okay. Jerry, J E R R Y. What's your middle, Jerry? I don't have a middle initial. Do you have a, um, an address that you can receive mail at? I'd rather not provide my address. Yeah, I'm, I'm already concerned because some cop said that he served me with something. I was never served. And now you guys are coming over and telling me that I could be arrested. So clearly there are some problems. Well, okay. So I'm saying that if you violate um, an NRS or you can certainly be arrested. It's just like if you, you know, okay. I want to file an anti harassment order against Matt Marshall. I want to file an anti harassment order against Joey uh, Gibson. I want to file any harassment orders against all the members of Patriot Prayer, okay. including Russell Schultz and some of these other people. Do so can you guys help me with that? Yes, County? I do. No, I reside here in Seattle. Great. I don't you even go to... Right around here to this, uh, uh, to the courthouse. You can walk right around in on the uh, 500 block of 3rd. And in there, and they can give you the paperwork on how to uh, handle your case. Okay. Because they have an affidavit. Just write out an affidavit. And I believe they can see you... Um, well, it's Saturday, but they could probably see you Monday. Okay. Just uh, swearing to the judge and get that into our house. Okay. Done. You can also do it in Pierce County. That's more convenient for you. But this is literally the building where you... I, I literally don't even go to Pierce County, so I need to know who the officer is and what the documentation is I've that I was served because okay. I was not served, period. I've that concern uh, a 
number of times at this point. Yeah, no, I, I understand that it's not your fault and that you have addressed it. But do you understand why I'm concerned? And I understand that you don't believe me that I wasn't served, but I was not served, okay? And so I, I don't know if they have friends down there that are officers or what the problem is. But some cop said he served me. I didn't get served. Period. Cool. Is there anything else I can do for you? No, I think that's fine. Is there anything else I can do for you guys? Uh, well, if you'd like, I can, like I said, look through your I'm not going to let you look at my picture, okay? Because I don't know whose picture I took. And, you know, I mean, yeah. So that's that. So um, now that we've had this discussion, the second component of this is now that you're aware that there is, in fact, a... Uh, person that has a served anti-harassment order in you, uh, with you, if uh, a police officer observes you violating that order at this point, um, you will be subject to arrest for violating that anti-harassment order. So I'm telling you this because... Now what does this woman look like? I, I honestly don't even know what she looks like. So I do want to make sure that I don't, if I'm walking around with a GoPro, that I don't accidentally take the picture of someone who I literally don't know. So if you could tell me at least what she looks like, so then I know who I cannot photograph, that would be really useful. I mean, this really creates a quandary because what, what's happening is, is that it seems to me that they're trying to create an environment in which I'm no longer able to take photographs, okay? I've photographed their people engage in a variety of different bad behaviors. So I, I haven't had the privilege of reviewing the affidavit for the anti-harassment order, but it is my okay. good faith belief So That's just trying, incorrect. What I am trying to do at this point is convey the uh, frank warning to you that you, now that you and I have discussed it and that you know that there is in fact an anti-harassment order that for your own awareness you don't violate that order. Now, you so can the only... tell me you have no idea about this order. You can tell me you have no idea what she looks like. That's right. The fact of the matter is... I know that there is a served anti-harassment order for this person, and I have a good faith belief that you know exactly who I'm talking about. You're absolutely wrong. So with that, we need you to just talk. Tasking we need to get to. Let's go ahead and conclude this contact, please. Okay. So, yeah, if somebody could tell me what she looks like, because, again, I, I honestly do not know. I just don't. 